In these tutorials, we are going to talk about P series test. Now, a P series or P series are of the form summation as n starts from let's say k to infinity of 1 over n to the power p where k is greater than 0. So the starting value or the starting index for a P series should be greater than zero. It can't be zero or less than zero. All right. So this is a typical P series or a typical form of a P series. Now let's look at examples of such series. Example one. Summation as n starts from 1 to infinity of 1 over n as an example of as, a, as an example of a P series. This two is an example. One over n squared. You can also have this as an example. One over square root of n. A P series can also be written in this form. Okay. Three over n to the power seven. Now, for this particular example, for the example four, you could see that there is three at the what at the numerator instead of one. It's simple. A constant do not necessarily affect the divergence or convergence of a series so when we are going to uh, when we are about to talk about the convergence and the divergence you are going to see that the three or the constant is not going to affect its divergence or convergence so for this particular example it can be rewritten as this you can factorize the three out let me bring the summation as n starts from one infinity of one over n to the power seven so bear in mind, constants do not affect the convergence or divergence of what of a series. All right. So let's look at how to test for the convergence or divergence of a P series. Now let's use this example, or let's use the general form. N plus k infinity one over n to the power p. Okay, but of course, p must be greater than zero. So when we have the series of this form, the p series, and if the value of p is greater than one, then the series what converges. If the value of p is greater than one, the series will converge. On the other hand, if p is less than or equal to one, then the series is going to diverge. So in testing for the convergence or divergence of a P series, these are some of the conditions, or these are the two major conditions that you have to take note of. And is for the previous series, we just find a partial sum, then we take limits as an approach is infinity of the partial sum, then we know whether it converges or diverges. But P series is an example of series which do not have a specific pattern. So for this particular series, we have different methods of testing them, hence the name P series test. So the series of these forms, we call them P series. The test that we use to test their convergence or divergence, or how we find whether they converge or diverge, diverges is what we call the what the P series test. Right, so let's look at some of the examples. Okay, we have this series here. So we have this series here. We are supposed to determine whether it converges or diverges. So you just have to compare it to the general form. So if you compare this to the general form, which is summation 
So n equals k to infinity of 1 over n to the power p. We are going to see that when you compare the, the p value here to whatever that we have here, p is going to be what? 1 because the n here is raised to the first power. Just that we don't write those one right. So if p is 1, what is the condition? Mind you, the first condition is that if p is greater than 1, the series converges. But if p is less than or equal to 1, the series diverges. So here p is equal to what? 1, which satisfies the second condition. Therefore, this series is what? A divergent series, or the series simply diverges. Okay. Let's look at another example. So let's consider this series. We have another example here. So as usual, you can even from inspection determine the value of p. Here it's obvious that p is going to be what equal to 2. And p which is equal to 2 is greater than 1, right? p is equal to 2 is what greater than 1. And if p is greater than 1, the series converges. Therefore, this is what a convergent p series or the series converges by what p series test okay let's try more examples it's quite simple you just have to um write it in the standard form or the general form of the p series you determine your p and the value of the p will tell you whether it's diverges or converges okay, let's try another example here So you can pause the video and try hands on this and start from 1 to infinity to 1 over n to the power 7. Okay. So here when we compare to the general form n equals k to infinity 1 over n to the power p, we are going to see that our p equals what 7, which is greater than what 1. Therefore, the series will what? Will Converge, right? Okay. Let's try another example. We have summation n equals 1 to infinity 1 over square root of n. Compose the video and try your hands. So don't forget that this can be rewritten as this infinity 1 over square root of n can be written as n to the power half so if you compare it to the general form p will be equal to what half which equals 0 0.5 we know that 0 0.5 is what less than one so since p equals half which is less than one we can say that the series what diverges okay let's try a last example we have summation n equals 1 to infinity 1 over n to the power 1 plus epsilon okay we have this here where the epsilon is greater than 0 we are supposed to determine whether this converges or diverges what do you think is it going to converge or diverge okay Let's do the analysis here. We have n to the power 1 plus epsilon. But the condition is that epsilon is supposed to be greater than 0. So even if it is 0 0.0001 and we add it to 1, already the n is to the power 1. So even if epsilon is 0 0.000001, then the resulting I mean, adding the 1 to that 0, 0, 1 is going to give you a value which is greater than what? This is greater than 1. And we know that when the value for P is greater than 1, what happens? The series what? Converges. So here we can say that this series is going to convert, converge eventually because the epsilon is greater than 0. So if it is greater than 0, then whatever value that we are going to add to the one we are going to have a p value which is greater than what which is greater than one and if p is greater than one the series is supposed to converge so it's as simple as that
So the P series is an interesting type of series which we use the P series test to test for its convergence or dilute. It's quite simple. You just have to compare it to the general form, which is summation is n cross k infinity 1 over n to the power p. Then you determine your value of p. You get a value for p, then the condition comes in. If it is the if the value of p is greater than one, you know that it's going to converge. If it is less than or equal to one, you know that it's going to diverge. It's very simple. Thank you for watching the video. The video. Have a nice day.